I listen to Beanie Beanie and many other of my friends talk about how due to Bidenomics, uh, due to the economy taking a hit right now, many companies are moving away from ideology and they're actually going to try to please the customer for a change. So we're not going to see more Gillette commercials that actually lecture you on how to be a man uh, rather than sell you a razor. Uh, we're not going to see more Bud Light commercials where they're hiring people that mock sports fans um, by saying, go team, whatever. Instead, what we're going to see is uh, them focusing on the product. And this is completely wrong. It's, it's definitely not true. Um, what's actually happening is that diversity, inclusivity, and equity is indeed becoming incredibly unpopular. And the people that are pushing it, they have social media as well. Right? Like they notice that the market is resisting it. They notice that they're mocking it and, and they don't like it because they're investing a lot of money in order to push it. So what they're going to do instead is they're going to try to rebrand it. Um, they, they want it visible that, well, diversity, inclusivity, and equity is going away, right? Like the ideology is moving away. You have like diversity officers getting fired. You, you got like companies restructuring and uh, shrinking down the, the HR departments. Um, but all of this is for show because what's actually happening is that they're going to try to rebrand it. And, and as you can see on this website, uh, you got uh, your goal, global partner for social good, <clears throat> right? So you got the wheelchair present, whatever the wheelchair is present, you know, it's an American corporation with, uh, you know, the, the environmentalism in the background and then all of the good stuff, you know, the corpo art as well. Uh, so, so what exactly are they talking about? Well, as you get to see here, they, they're talking about bridge, right? So it's an acronym. Uh, B stands for belonging. Uh, D is for diversity. I is for inclusivity. E is for equity. Uh, I don't know exactly what the R and the G stands for, but I'm pretty sure that uh, G may actually be global or something. Whatever. Uh, what they're talking about on the website is something that I've been talking about since 2014, since I made this channel. I was pointing out that, you know, you have all these people pushing for social justice and their solutions are pretty much ridiculous. Like in the beginning, it was uh, make sure that people don't make sexist jokes. Uh, make sure that people do not make video games where female characters have big tits, right? And, and all of this was supposed to be done. Uh, to advance social justice, like like to make uh, the world a much better place. So, because Dungeons and Dragons, for instance, says that um, orcs uh, now are not an evil race, uh, racism in America is going down. Like, like you have this, these uh, mental retardation type of changes that, that like any person with a brain w would notice that it's not going to work, like it doesn't affect reality. It, it, again, it's it's kind of like saying, well, you know, a bicycle has two wheels, uh, a car has four, so a car is faster than a bicycle. If we make a car have five wheels, then it's going to go even faster, right? It, it's kind of like that. It sounds good on paper, but in reality, it makes no sense. And, and what I was saying in 2014 is like, like, the advocates of social justice do not measure the impact that they're having on the world. It's like, okay, so you now police the forums. You put a feminist in charge of the forums and... No one is allowed to make any type of sexist jokes. Uh, how much of sexismus has gone down in Britain? Like, they, they don't do that, right? So, uh, this company actually criticizes this and says that while they try to measure uh, what diversity, inclusivity, and equity has been doing, how much their changes actually impacts the world. Like, for instance, okay, you, you put a feminist in charge of uh, a forum, and uh, she goes out of their way to start toad policing and moderating and banning people for jokes. How much did that actually lower sexism in the United Kingdom? Or you put a very offensive signpost uh, implying that people who are geeks, uh, they go to conventions in order to molest women. Uh, how much did the patriarchy took a blow for you doing that? Right, like, like none of these things were actually measured and none of these things actually were looked into because you're pretty much antagonizing your customers, you're, you're antagonizing people uh, with authoritarian moral busybodies and are you actually making a change? So this company did look into it and they found out that no, it, it's not making a change. Um, they, they noticed that, uh, first of all, it's very difficult to measure if the change actually impacted the real world. 
uh, most of the companies only did the changes for the sake of uh, filling a checkbox, not, not because they actually believe in, in the thing. And they also noticed that most people who go to these diversity seminars and, um, you know, all, all of these uh, CEOs that talk the speech, uh, they don't actually believe in it. Uh, they're finding it to be quite annoying. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, they're talking about it, and I finally found out what Bridge stands for. It's uh, Benchmarking Race, Inclusion, and Diversity in Global Engagement, right? So, like, this is going to be global. Uh, and uh, one of their uh, major criticisms is, is not that companies aren't producing stuff that's cheaper or stuff that's better, is that power is not shared equally, right? So, th this is what they are the most concerned about that. They're not concerned, okay, is Delta Airlines flying planes more safer? Is the ticket for a plane more accessible to people? No, it's like the power, like the power in the Delta Airlines. When you when you crack down the human genome and you look at the races, is the power from Delta Airlines spread equally? Um, the gaps in diversity data, it's like how exactly do we know? How can we track the power? Right, like, like this is what they're being obsessed with, um, and they're talking about how they're going to raise awareness, make data visible, um, how they want to inspire organization level change. But, but more importantly, they they talk about various stuff, which is quite creepy, uh, like working with with credit cards and banks in order to make sure that you have this thing, which is uh, equitable purchasing. Right. So basically, equitable purchasing would mean that companies. Um, could make stuff more cheap or more expensive based on whatever criteria they want. So you already have like this thing like Uber, right? Like Uber has this uh, dynamic pricing where if it's a rush hour, it costs more. If it's raining outside, it costs more. If not, it costs cheaper. Uh, I saw fast food do the same. But, but what I think they're proposing is stuff like, okay, well, if you have purchased a lot of stuff that costs carbon credits or you purchase stuff from companies that aren't on board with our program, our prices are going to go up for you. Uh, or they can say stuff like, um, if you went over your carbon credits allowance, then stuff is going to be more expensive. But, but they can also do stuff like, um, you know, uh, people who are from impoverished backgrounds or from marginalized backgrounds, stuff can be cheaper for you. Like, like, basically what they're saying is that they want to instill behaviors into people. They, they want to normalize this behavior. Like, the, the way of thinking that based on your behaviors, you can get access to cheaper stuff, right? So, like, if, if you're a person that goes on Twitter, for instance, and, and uh, lectures others about diversity, inclusivity, and equity, then shit should be cheaper for you, right? So, like... If, if they would actually implement this, just imagine how cancerous social media will be because you'd have all these people that do not believe in the ideology, but they would share the ideology just to lower the, their ESG score so that they can get stuff cheaper. But regardless, my point is that diversity, inclusivity, and equity is America's greatest export in the world. This is the best product that America produces right now. Um, and the idea that it's going away is absolutely ridiculous. Like there's just too much body invested in it, right? So it's not going away, it's just being rebranded, and this is just one example, there, there's many others. Um, but do let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.